Hey, M0A Nation, Jason Shepard here, and just continuing to update you on everything the FAA is doing with all these new rules and regulatory changes, and really wanted to specialize. I realized the video we just posted was 20 minutes in length. I wanna make some smaller videos where we give them some more details, like night operations. Can I fly my drone at night? The answer is yes, actually you can, provided you've had the training that the drone is actually equipped for night flight. Now, when the FAA first established the rules for remote pilots, night operations were required by a waiver. But after a few years of safe night operations by you all, the drone community, the FAA has decided that night operations will be allowed without a waiver, provided certain caveats are actually met. Now, if you already have your remote pilot certification, and that certificate was issued before 2021, in order to legally fly at night, you're required to do some more knowledge acquisition and testing to make sure your drone is properly equipped and that you as well are properly equipped for night flight. And for those night operations, remote pilots in command who wish to conduct small unmanned aircraft operations at night must complete either what they're calling the updated initial test. Now, depending on when you're watching this, the updated initial test may or may not actually be out just yet. I gotta be honest with you, the FAA has continued to really push this date along. We're to the point where we're just saying spring of 2021 now or complete the updated recurrent online training from the FAA prior to conducting such operations. So if those two things are not available just yet, well, you still need to go through the waiver process. And again, we always wanna provide the most up-to-date information, but we've also shot this video three or four different times because the FAA keeps changing the date. So we've just said spring of 2021 now. This is the one that's actually gonna take effect. now. Additionally, prior to conducting small unmanned aircraft operations at night, the small unmanned aircraft must also be equipped with anti-collision lights that can be seen for three statute miles and have a flash rate sufficient to avoid a collision. Now these anti-collision lights obviously must also be operational. I know that's a no-brainer, but it's important to know. And would you believe it? The FAA has a definition of night, and the FAA has a lot of definitions in our big giant far aims as well. It's highly likely you're gonna see questions about night operations on your new FAA knowledge tests as well. So you'll find the FAA's definition of night under CFR, Code of Federal Regulations, part one in the far aim. Now, night is defined actually as the time between the end of evening civil twilight and the beginning of morning civil twilight as published in the Federal Air Almanac and then we convert that back to local time. So in the contiguous United States, evening civil twilight is the period of sunset until 30 minutes after sunset, and morning civil twilight is the period of 30 minutes of the actual sunrise itself. Now, another name for twilight is dusk. By the way, you may see it referred to as dusk or civil twilight on your knowledge test. Basically, the sun's not all the way above the horizon and not all the way down during civil twilight there as well. As an example, let's say sunset is at 5.45 local time. Night would begin 30 minutes later, so at 6.15 p.m. Hopefully that makes sense to you. The reason this is so important is that drones are not permitted to fly at night unless you have completed the training and of course the drone is appropriately equipped as well. So you could be out doing a job and the sun starts going down, you frantically check your watch, and ironically I'm not wearing two watches today, I know everyone's probably very disappointed, but you check one of your two watches and you make sure you don't go a nanosecond into night, unless of course we have the authority to do so. Now, there's another part to this. Let's talk a little bit about the physiology of night flight. It takes a while, as we know, for our eyes to adjust in darkness. Sometimes it could take as much as 30 minutes or so. You want to avoid white light during night operations because this actually uh, photo bleaches, right? It temporarily destroys your night vision. 
Even the flashlight feature on your cell phone, I may not have two watches, but I have two cell phones. This one's super on brand too, isn't it? Uh, today with me. So even the white light on your cell phone though, um, could photo bleach and, and cause these issues for night flying. So for night operations, use a flashlight with a colored lens. There's actually a term, aviation flashlights are available from, you probably get them on Amazon, but certainly pilot supply stores as well. And they're either gonna have a blue, green, red, or yellow lens. Now, uh, at mzeroy.com, we are, we are fond of green lenses as they actually seem to provide the best visual acuity at night. So that covers night operations for you. Now, again, I love reading your comments below this video on Facebook, on YouTube as well, and we're gonna continue to keep you as up to date as possible as we're working through all of this and the FAA maybe finally finalizes some dates as well. So can't wait to read your comments below this video. Have a blessed, wonderful rest of your day, and most importantly, remember that a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, everyone, I'll see ya.